Okay, so in this problem, we're going to have the same situation that we just talked about. We're going to have a box at an angle, uh, being pulled at an angle. And what's the mass of my box? 15 kilograms. And uh, what force would you like to pull it with? 100. Yeah. Ah, 100 newtons. And at what angle would you like to pull that? 60. 60 degrees. Okay. Now, this time, I'm going to ask, what is the normal force? By the table. You guys remember what normal force is? So let's start going through the procedure that let's start going through the procedure that you normally would for a for a force problem. First thing you do, free body diagram. Dot represents your block, and then write all the forces that are applied to your block. So what forces do we have? Gravity. Gravity. Always gravity. Mg is carried down. And one going up to the table. One going up to the table, and what do we call that? Newton. And for normal force. And then we got tension at a 60 degree angle. Tension at this angle. And we'll label that T. So there's our free body diagram. All the forces accounted for. Next thing we do is we separate into X and Y. The tension is at a strange angle, at 60 degrees, so we solve for the components. We have an x component, and what is the value of that x component? 50. By the same logic we used earlier, we have 100 newtons times the cosine of 60 degrees. It's cosine of 60? Cosine of 60 is one half? No, that's fine. I was confused for a second. Cosine of 60 is one half times 100, so that's 50 newtons total. And what about in the y direction? Same thing except sine. Same thing except for sine. It's going to be 100 uh, sine of 60. And that, 86 sine? That means 86. 86.6. 86.6 newtons. So we've dealt with our components. Now we go to the question. What, uh, what is the normal force exerted by the table? In which direction is the normal force? Uh, up. Up. So it's in the y direction. So we want to start with values for our y direction. Some of the forces in the y is m acceleration in the y. So let's try to figure out what forces do we have in the y. Let's identify them. Looking at your free body diagram, which ones do we have in the y direction? Gravity and mg. Normal mg and not t, but part of t. Part of t, a component of t. So t, y, if you want to say it that way, which we've already solved for there. So take all those forces and put them in the sum of the forces. We have normal force up. Now the tension. Is that in the same direction as the normal force or the opposite direction? Same. 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 You're Both pulling up. up, normal force is up. So this is in the same direction. So we'll go ahead and plug that value in. 86.6 newtons. And then mg, which you labeled, is that in the same direction or the opposite? Opposite. Opposite. So we subtract it. mg. So that takes care of the sum of our forces. We have three forces we identified, and we have three variables in our problem. Set that equal to the mass times the acceleration in the y. What's the acceleration in the y? Gravity. Zero. Why is it zero? Oh, it's zero velocity. Oh, it's, it's, it's constant, yes, but specifically it's zero velocity. In the y direction, is that thing taking off? No, no. Is it falling through the table? No. Y direction, we have a zero velocity. It's actually zero um, acceleration as well. So that's zero. Makes it nice. That whole side goes to zero. So normal force plus 86.6 newtons minus mg is equal to zero. Normal force plus 86.6 newtons minus the mass. 
Zip. Mass of the gravity, 15, 15 kilograms times gravity. Positive. Why can we use positive now? Because. All right. <laughs> so notice in our equation, in our equation, we've taken the direction to be negative already, so we don't need to negative and negative again. Why is it a positive That's what we just expect. We, <laughs> we don't need to call this negative and this negative. We've already indicated that that force is going to be downwards. We don't need to double it by saying the gravity is down. So we're just stating that. So gravity, as far as this chapter goes, is always going to be a positive value. It really is always a positive value. But since we indicated down as negative in gravity in a projectile problem, so we can call it negative. So this is zero. Normal force plus 86.6 newtons minus 150 newtons equals zero. Normal force minus, what was it, 63.4 equals 63.4 newtons equals zero. So the normal force equals Now why does it, so if this is sitting on a table and it's 15 kilograms, why doesn't the table have to support 150 newtons? If I had a book sitting on a table, it would just be the weight of the book that the table has to support. And the weight of the object here would be 150 newtons. Why doesn't the table need to support 150 newtons? Why is it only 63 newtons? Because we're pulling it up some. Because we're pulling it up some.